All right, man. I wanted to react to something that uh, DJ Academics. Y'all, if y'all don't know DJ Academics. Y'all should know him by now. He, uh, he everywhere now. He started off as a YouTuber, then he started working for Complex with Joe Budden. Y'all know he had all the Migos controversy stuff going on and all of that. But yeah, he started off for right here first on YouTube. But uh, he be having all the news. I like I like all the stuff he be having. He be having going. He be having some good content going on. But he just be like he just they be they, be, they just be treating him bad, man. He be looking kind of like a like a punk when it comes to you know. But it's still my nigga. Though. I still support his grind and stuff. He be having all the news for a nigga, but he just gotta start letting a lot of niggas slide on. They be they be doing to him. Just, just saying it would it couldn't be me, but but uh, anyways, yeah, we got famous Dex and YB in the mirror. Uh, a, a while ago, YB in the mirror was on his uh live talking about he wouldn't do a song with famous Dex and all that stuff like that, and then famous Dex responded with saying that he was slapping when he see him and all that stuff. Man, YB be in the mirror like seventeen, famous Dex like twenty something. You let it go, bro. You, you just, you can't. How you get mad if you? How you get mad from the dude YBN and the man? He messaged famous X and told him, and he had the money. He had the money to uh drop this, for him to drop the song with him. Famous Dix is like, nah, and blocked him or whatever. So now the family, now now that YBN and the man on, he saying that he wouldn't do a song with famous Dix, and famous Dix got mad at him about that. I mean that's just real. That's just how I would like, like from my standpoint, I would do the same. If I'm getting on, if 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 I wasn't popping at first, and then you told me you ain't want you ain't want to make a song with me, and I finally get on, then yeah, of course, I wouldn't want to make a song with you. But let's see what DJ Academics got to say about this. This part two of it or whatever. Y'all go check out his last video on how it all started. Yeah, I see what I'm talking about, but this is a second part to it. Somebody changes my own smack. And I'll be in every nigga city everywhere. But at the same time, keep God first and stay focused and keep doing what you're doing. But keep other guys out your mouth. Worry about females. Get some pussy. You young, you doing your thing now. Get some pussy. You know, it's time to fuck now. It's time to get some pussy. Now, for real, it's time to fuck these bitches now. It's time to fuck these bitches and get some cheese, get some money. All that beef on them off all that other shit, getting on live and talking about other niggas, that shit gay. That's some gay shit, you know what I'm saying? Yes, you, gotta, you gotta stay focused and keep God first. It's 2018, your new revolution should have been, you know what? I ain't gonna think about 2014. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta get some money, baby. You can't beef and get money. It's, it don't add up. I get the chicken. That just ain't got no beef for nobody, man. On my son, little YBN on my daughter. I, I don't even know you, little bro. You 2014. I get so fucking high. If I blocked you, I then he blocked the world. If, <laughs> if you feel some type of I blocked you, little bro. Life is kind of short, man. How the fuck somebody go bring some up four years ago? Now that's why I don't understand. My girls do that. My old hoes do that. You know how I suck that dick in 2014, nigga? Now you up, nigga? That's what my bitch, no, no, that's what my girlfriends do. Stupid, On some man. real shit. <laughs> my girls, they, they, my old bitches be DMing me. You know how I suck that dick in 2014? Now I can't suck that dick in 2018? Nah, baby, because it's a new year. <laughs> and it's new year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That nigga crazy, man. It's just, it's new everything, man. Yeah, it just... It just knew everything. You can't beef and get money, man. So, what that being said is, Dexter has no beef with nobody. Oh, my son, Dexter be everywhere. Dexter don't care. Colorful hair. <laughs> Diamonds <laughs> not in my ear. <laughs> that nigga freestyling today. Sipping lean, not no beer. But I don't <laughs> sip lean no more because it cover my ear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dexter. <laughs> Check it out now, man. Yo, Famous Dex might be the new Big Gucci soldier, man. Y'all remember when Soldier Boy was going through a range of emotions? One day he was beefing one nigga, the next day he squashing, the next day he blamed it on the weed, the next day he claimed he ain't got.
got no lean, so he had to go off. The next day, he said that's his brother. Like, what the fuck going on now? Famous Dex, after just yesterday, he says he was going to slap Earth, Wind, Fire, and a GTA mission out of goddamn YB <laughs> in the mirror. He said ain't no yeah, plan. Slap all that out of Oh, man, listen, listen. By the way, I'm not encouraging beef. I'm just saying that, hey, listen, this is what a new generation, including myself. I'm not going to take <laughs> okay. myself out of that. Including myself, we got to yeah. We got to start dealing with emotions better rather than running to live, saying some shit that the next moment you feel a different way, okay? Now, famous Dex probably was told by his fans that, yo, listen, that was four months ago that YB in the mirror said that, and that yeah, he did man. feel some type of way about you blocking him, but even if you were going to respond like the way you responded, you kind of responded like a couple months late, okay? According to Dex, he be high sometime, man. He was blocking a lot of niggas four years ago, and now that... He is in 2018. He's all about the money. He ain't got no beef with Bobby in the mirror. And nothing will happen going on into the future, okay? He ain't trying to be beef with niggas, okay? He's getting to the chicken, as he says. Well, this could have been avoided, <laughs> okay? I'm saying, yo, these guys got to start reaching out, speak to each other on the phone. That's why you need big homies. Big homies are needed for this type of situation because rather than two young kids True. just popping off at the mouth, never really communicating, just realizing it's going to fuck up like their their show bookings. And this is probably what happens, right? Dex just said that. Every festival that both of them were supposed to be at, those promoters called him to say, hey, hey, listen, I heard what you said online that you're going to smack another performer that I booked as well on the same festival as you. So what are we going to do? Okay, since you're saying you're going to smack him, we might have to just cancel your booking. So bye-bye to whatever amount of money you're going to get. Yeah, 10, that is true. Uh, listen, you be all right. Now, you get back on the internet, and of course, you're going to be singing a different tune. You ain't into slapping nobody, okay? Again, some of these things are just momentary reactions to, to a situation that could be solved if people just talk, if there was an OG or a middleman that could bridge the gap, but clearly, that's not the case. And by the way, I'm still not defending YB in the mirror on him getting blocked, okay? If you are pulling up to artists, believe me, there's thousands of people who do it. If you asking niggas for prices for feature, bruh, you better have that feature money, okay? Nigga, do a GTA heist or something, my nigga. I don't give a fuck. Get that nigga bread, dog, okay? And if you doing too much talking in the DMs after he gave you a price, nigga, you get blocked. This is business. Ain't, this ain't nobody caring that you in high school, nigga, okay? That's just business. This business is cold. Ain't no fucking friends. I'm learning every day. Every day I meet a new steak, okay? So, you gotta treat it like business. He ain't gonna be keeping it cool with you while you go get your lunch money and pull it up and then motherfucking put in a GTA cheat code to come back and pay off your debt. No, nigga. I'm blocking you. You a fucking trolling. Okay? But I'm glad he's two ABs no more. Good stuff. Get a comment. Watch you guys like and subscribe to Boots Academics. I don't know what he said at the end, but, uh... Yeah, it do go both ways, bro. Like, if... When you ask somebody for something, man, make sure you got the money for it, though, at the same time. But, uh, yeah, DJ Academics really be knowing what he be talking about, but it's just the way when he be on complex, Joe Budden make him sound like he don't know what he's talking about. But Joe, Joe Budden, Joe Budden, Joe Budden be tripping on everybody, but, yeah, man. See, I really just got the full story. I ain't know how all that was going on, but, yeah. So what I said in the beginning, it just, it, it, I still stand for what I said in the beginning, but I mean, like, now that I know the full story, it kind of changed my mind a little bit about how everything went down, how they said it went down, but, uh, yeah, that's what I think about the video, y'all, let me know what y'all think about the video in the comment section, make sure you like and subscribe, and thank y'all for the love and support, man, it's your boy, A$AP Prince, and I'm out.